everybody, it's Maria here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you a card using the Dino Days stamp set. I only recently got this, so I'm very excited to use to make a card with this, as well as the matching dies. Now you can buy these together with one special item number as a bundle and get 10% off or you can buy them separately. I'm also using the All Wired Up stamp, uh, background stamp and I'm also using the Seasonal Layers dies and I'm using the branch off that one. So that's been making a regular appearance of late but um, it, it is a great die set. Now um, my idea came when I'm casing myself. <laughs> um, this card here I made for my family and friends about five years ago now I think roughly and I made this with my Cricut machine. So I used Stampin' Up! cardstock and uh, some stamps and and I used the yeah the, the punches there but I also um, making it so that when you open, flip it open, it's like the eggs hatched. So isn't that cute? So um, I'm going to do that. So it's similar but not the same. So for this you will need a piece of blue, um, balmy blue cardstock. This is half an A4 and scored in half again. So I'll just burnish that score line. Okay, so this is an A6 card base. The principles of what I'm going to show you is similar to what you should apply for your own card base, so just so you know. So you'll need three pieces of Whisper White cardstock, all the same length, which makes it, say, a quarter of an inch shorter than all of than the card base itself. And on one of them, you score at half an inch up the top there like that. So what will happen is we're going to burnish that score line. And it'll just look like that okay now you will see why in a minute <laughs> as to why we're doing that so once for the front this one's for the inside okay and this one will go over the top okay and then we're going to cut off some so that we can put the egg and I'll show you how to do all of that so to start off with I am going to stamp all of the images so you'll need lots of um, lots of cardstock that's um, uh, scrap so I just won't mix them up because I've got quite a few the same there and then we've got some spare here so we're going to grab this dinosaur image here I think it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex really cute and we're going to grab this one as well, which is this image over here. And we're going to um, stamp these separately. So I'll just grab my Stamparatus because it's just easy to make sure we get accurate stamps. So we'll stamp the dinosaur. <laughs>
So we have now stamped the, that image 10 times. Okay, and um, I think that's it for now. Yep, that is it for now. So I'll take that Stamparatus away. All right, now, with these two pieces of paper, I am going to do some ink blending, and I'm going to use Balmy Blue and Granny Apple Green for that. So I'll just grab my Ranger. This is the Ranger non-stick craft sheet. This is fantastic. Okay, so you're going to grab one of these and the one with the um, with the half an inch score mark on that one. Okay, and I'm going to on this one here. I'm going to ink blend in granny apple green. Now I'm just going to check up with my die where I'm going to position this thing. So this will be positioned down here. So that when I do that, I'll set as a rough guide around there. I'm going to ink blend. So I'm going to use now some balmy blue ink. Kind of adjust it afterwards but that's all right we'll just do this now I'll take away the craft sheet for a second just give me one moment I'm just going to close the blinds here because it's getting a little bit bright in here so just hold on one second really sorry I just had to adjust the blinds so in the end what's going to happen is this is going to go over the top of that like so okay and so it'll be this will be put on top of the card base at the front so yeah it'll be it'll be an interesting card <laughs> I hope my vision works okay so what I'm going to do is just clean this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting all of these images plus I'm going to get some crumb cake cardstock so I've got some spares here and I'm going to cut the branch from the seasonal layers dies as well. So I'm going to do all the cutting with my big shot and then um, and then I'll be back. So basically you're just going to see this all fast with some music. So enjoy.
cut it out six times in the end but I think it's totally um, worth it so I'll just put these things away and just give this a drop sometimes when you drop your dice um, your dice just fall out so that's pretty good all right so now that we've got all our little bits and pieces together I'll just um, just yeah separate them from the scrap pieces of cardstock so you have a whole bunch of these branches and leaves and tree trunk and yeah so what I'm going to do with this is now start to putting it together so I'm going to get a rough idea a rough plate well, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this bit down so I'm just going to grab some glue and glue that bit down okay so that's this part here So that's the dinosaur. I've got the egg down here, which I'm going to put down here, I think. So I'll just add some glue on the bottom of that dinosaur. I'll just put it right near the bottom so that way I have more like leeway as to how I'm going to have this. I think I'll have it like like that. Oh, cute! <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, and then I've got my layering piece here, so I'll just get a rough idea of where to put the egg. So I have that here. And with this part here, I'm not going to completely match it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off these bits here. So I'll just grab my trimmer and I'm just going to cut off the zigzaggy parts, only just. So I'll just put these, line them as straight as I can. I'll just cut off the zigzags. down and do it like that so as you can see I've cut off the zigzag parts so I'll just put that line like there and I'm going to cut across that just get my trimmer again and I'm going to cut across that line I'm going to do maybe a little bit more ink blending there just to make that a bit more blue so I'll just that on the back of this so as you can see now that is on the back here and this is there like that all right just bear with me for one moment I've got my battery going off so just hold on one second so I've just plugged in my camera to the um, power because I was running out of battery because my, my camera is an older camera the battery is not as great so I'm just cleaning my brush here just to get rid of excess 
stuff. And with these two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to splash some water. So I'm going to use my aqua painter. Just get some, some water right onto the tip. And I'm just going to do this. And then I'll do that here too. So this is a good way of splashing water. Just using your aqua painter. And then I'm just going to grab my cloth. And I'll just absorb up. It's just a very slight... So, if you can see a few little splotches, it looks really cute. I love that. All right, so done with that. Okay, now this is where it's going to get tricky. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my egg underneath here just until this reaches, like this goes here, like that. only just then I'm going to stick my egg on top of that so I'm going to add some glue actually first off I'm going to put a bit of painters tape Just grab some painters tape I'm going to keep it in that position there and with this one oops I'm going to add some glue like that so it's super cute egg how cute this is so cute all right now with this being here I will need to add some branches because that's going to look like it's coming from a nest so I'm just going to grab my six branches I'm going to grab my six branches here this doesn't have to be precise so it just goes like that all right, so it looks like a nest. So I will glue down this part. So I'll just get a painter's tape from behind just to ensure that it keeps in place. Okay, so from the front, I will line it up. So it just covers those zigzags like that. Then I'm going to add some painter's tape there and then I'm going to stick that down. And therefore, that held in place. Okay. So check that out. Oh, <laughs> isn't this the cutest? I love this card. All right, so now I'm going to get my tree branches. I'm going to make a bit of a mess down here. So I'll just start off with these ones. remover 
this is from Xyron the ones that make the sticker makers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub off that excess um, yeah, the excess stuff that I don't need, the adhesive. <laughs> Sorry I'm lost for words, it's terrible. Alright, so I'm going to grab some scissors and what I'm going to do is trim off all the excess parts we don't need. So I'll trim, trim, Go like that, like that, and then we'll trim off these extra excess branches as well. All right, looks much neater now. So we're going to stick this on top of that card. But I want to add a little sentiment over there and I'm going to add the sentiment that says look who's hatched I think that is just absolutely perfect so just grab that look who's look who's hatched sentiment I didn't end up using the old wide up stamp set um, don't worry about it. I was going to do the background, but I think it looks nice as it is. So I, don't, I didn't use it. So I'll put that look who's hatched up here, I think, over here. I'll just grab my Stamparatus. And I'm going to use my magnets just to keep that in place. That will look good, I think, right over here. Look who's hatched. Ooh, how cute. And I'm going to stamp that in crumb cake. And I'm going to wipe off that excess ink. I don't want that anywhere near my card oh that turned out perfect absolutely perfect how cute is that so I'll take that off put that away so now I'm going to bring in my card base and I'm going to stick this down. Oh, how cute is that? Look at that. There we go. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? I'm just going to, um, no, I can leave that. And it'll look fine like that. How cute is this stamped? Oh my gosh, this card's so cute. All right, so I'm going to stamp the inside of the card. Why not? And on the inside, I think I will stamp first off the little part here there. dinosaur isn't that adorable just adorable I love that so I'm going to now clean my stamp and now I can take my stamparatus away okay Alright, so I'll just bring the card base back and I'm going to attach this on the inside with some glue. Ok. 
Okay, and that's my finished card for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is an adorable uh, stamp set. Love the way that looks, and then bam, I like how the um, dinosaur kind of stands out. It looks really cute. See? So, look who's hatched. Yay! That looks so good. I love that. And then on the inside, we have that. So, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Just a different way of doing cards with this um, gorgeous stamp set. I love the Dino Days. You can use this for thank you, baby, I love you, you're awesome, or any other kind of um, card you wish. I didn't end up using the all wide up card, but it would have looked cool if I did the background if I remembered, but I forgot. <laughs> I just got caught up with the ink blending and everything. But it's a great um, stamp set. Um, this, as I said, you can buy them through my online store. And that branch, whatever you don't use up, you can use for another project so they don't get lost or, um, you know, they're not wasted. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions or you would like... Um, to give me any feedback I would appreciate it just leave a comment below in this video or you can contact me directly through my online store at peppleyrose.stampinup.net thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time bye